Well, it's the season for pumpkin, but there's a lot more you can make than just pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice lattes. Pamela Elizabeth, owner of Blossom Du Jour and Blossom Restaurants in Manhattan, is here to show us how versatile this vegetable can be. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Bef Thank you so much for having me. You brought a lot to show us, but first, yeah. I mean, it seems like this year there's pumpkin in everything. Why do you think it's so popular now? You know, I think people are just becoming more and more aware of the health. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, the health um, benefits. Benefits, yeah. And it's such a versatile food. Mm -hmm. So you can use it, as you can see, in many different ways. Well, and a lot of people think of pumpkin, they think of sweet, but you actually yeah. fold it into savory dishes Absolutely. as well. So show us a little bit Absolutely. about what, what we can do with pumpkin. Yeah, well, um, traditional pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. But um, we've made this with uh, pumpkin and tofu. We replace eggs with tofu. Ah. It's just as rich and delicious. And here we have a vegetable risotto with a pumpkin cashew cream sauce. Oh, that sounds amazing. Creamy, delicious, flavorful. Mm -hmm. Then we have these muffins that are great for breakfast, cranberry walnut muffins. Um, and these are peanut butter pumpkin dog biscuits. Oh, peanut wow. Butter. So I was about to take a bite of that. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> you can. You so can. Tell us what's in the, So pumpkin, obviously, what else pumpkin, is in those? peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I used um, gluten-free flour and a little bit of parsley. Pinch of salt. The dog okay. love that. And you can eat that. I was going to say, really, really good. still sounds pretty good. Really for your good. Fur. And last, which is what we're going to make, is, is the is granola. A, yes, a pumpkin seed granola. Oh, the um, seeds. Yep. Okay. So we can get started. Yeah, yes. let's do it. So what we want to do, we have all our dry ingredients right here. Our oats, uh, cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, pumpkin seeds, almond slivers. So we want to add our wet ingredients in this bowl. We have a little bit of agave. Okay, Why so we're doing the wet first, first in this bowl. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is agave. Agave syrup, we're using that instead of the traditional sugar. Sugar, okay. And then we have um, a little bit of maple Here. syrup. Here you go. Gives it that depth of flavor. Okay. Oh, sorry, Greg, on camera. Okay, maple syrup and then... A little bit of canola oil. We want to make sure that's organic. Organic canola oil mm -hmm. and a little bit of brown sugar. We know what that one is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the brown sugar is always really good. Yeah, Here, you can do the brown sugar. And then sugar. we just want to top it off with a little bit of vanilla. Vanilla. Okay. Yeah. Just this is that right out. This is a little more go. than a teaspoon. How much is this? That's a like teaspoon a, and a half. Teaspoon and a yes. half. Okay. Then we want to mix this up. There you go. Mix okay. it up really, really well. Yeah. Okay. And then what we're going to do is pour this mixture. So this then not only flavors the granola, but it also helps hold it all together, I Absolutely. imagine, right? Absolutely. And it smells, it smells heavenly. really good. It smells like you're making chocolate chip cookies, it's but I have a feeling it's a little bit more healthy than that. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then so, you yeah, pour it. Just pour that right on top. Okay. All of it. We want to get all of that in there. Go and then we can mix it. Mix it up. Yep. Okay, go ahead, Diane. You okay, I'll do the mixing. mixing here. Just mix that up. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to fold, yeah. You want to fold the oats into the into get the everything liquid. all coated yeah. in that good stuff, get it right? Coated. We'll get just that little drop in there. Okay. Yeah. And then it's baking time. Then we want to spread it onto our sheet pan. Um, making this at home, it's a good idea to let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. It's start to hold together. Okay. Um, but we're going to spread it onto our sheet pan. Is there a strategy to this, or is there a wrong, wrong way? <laughs> no, Can I get no the idiot's way. guide that's to spreading so, granola, please? That's what's so much fun about making granola. There's no wrong way. You know, we've heard a few people tell us that on the show, and then I find a way. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to spread that out evenly. It smells really It's kind really of good. fun, too, I do have so to say. Good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a lot of fun. It's just great for kids, too. And healthy. And, and so then you, you pop this in the oven? After about 10 to 15 minutes, yep, you said, you right? you pop it in the oven. You're going to want to set your oven at 350. You pop it in there, about 20 minutes. You'll start to smell it in the house in about 5, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes, you want to take it out. And um, it, it's still cooks for a few minutes after you take it out of the oven. So it might not look as dark as you would want it to, but it will. And then this um, is the finished this product? Is the finished product which <laughs> I'm loving the size of this food. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I gotta get one too. Oh, that's good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Do you we like can't, that? We can't wait to try. Try yeah. it at home. Try making it at I home. I feel like you could eat yeah. that as just like a snack or as a cereal, oh, too, absolutely. right? absolutely. Absolutely. Very yeah. nice. Pamela, thank you so much. Oh, we so you. appreciate it. Thank you both. And for more information on these recipes, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. Right